Hello everyone, welcome back to this thing that I'm doing, basically showing off the things that appear in the DS remake of Kirby Superstar and not in the Super Nintendo version. Last episode we took out Revenge of the King, this episode we're taking out Meta Nightmare Ultra. Uh, basically this is every single one of the Kirby stages except that you play as Meta Knight instead of Kirby. But aside from that, pretty much the same thing. There's really no difference. Like this, Well okay, maybe the, stage, the stages layouts do change a bit because there are some areas that only Kirby can access, like certain abilities. And Meta Knight doesn't have access to that. Anyway, KO force to store power to the icons on the bottom screen to use the power, blah blah blah. These are the four abilities that they have. Mock Tornado is basically a Crash Kirby, heal, recover health. Meta, Meta Quick is like uh, it's like the invincibility candy, like increases your speed. And Night Call is basically your helper, which I'm not gonna be using much of. Anyway, stage one, Spring Breeze. Meta Knight controls pretty much like Sword Kirby if he flew the way Birdon does. And he also has his little stab, and also this upper stab. Those little orbs I'm collecting, that's um... Those little orbs I'm collecting, that's the energy that they were talking about. Right? If you look at the bottom screen, which I'm not going to show anything, it says I have 6 points. So, 7 points actually now. So the only thing I can afford is to summon a helper. The large ones are worth 5, so now I have 12. I can actually afford a meta quick and the heal. Actually, as far as, as far as I remember, I don't think there's that many uh like food items in, the, in this version, so like you have to rely on heal. Kind <laughs> of the little one up there, there between little Meta Knight icons. Well, let me check anyway. The tomato's not there. Wasn't there like an M around here? I don't remember. Whatever, either way. Uh, I think he, I, I think health gets restored between each stage anyway, so. And yeah, then you fight the same bosses too. As for the Great Cave Offensive, I think I don't think you fight the Chameleon boss because that's a Kirby only. Like that area is blocked off. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Moving on. Oh yeah, there are some like cutscenes or transitions between each stage. You just go on and move on. I'm probably gonna show off only like. Oh, your health doesn't really cover. Whatever. I'm only gonna show off like 20 minutes worth of gameplay at a time, or 20 minutes worth of stages, or I don't know. They they divide this thing into four. And the four would be uh, Spring Breeze. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I get that. The, the four that they divided into is Spring Breeze. Did I get hit twice? Uh, what else? Dino Blade, Degree Kill Offensive, Revenge of. No, no. You don't, you don't play the Revenge of Meta Knight stages. Because why would Meta Knight take out his own problem, you know? So, uh, and then the fourth one is Milky Way Wishes. So you take them out. And they give you a little break in between, so I'm probably only going to do like Spring Breeze and then end the episode. Or I might do a little bit of a... I don't know, we'll, we'll see how far I can go in... in uh, we'll see how far we can go in uh, 10 minutes. I'll probably like finish Spring Breeze and then some. See, because these bosses are pretty easy. Now if I was taking out the, the Revenge of Men Knight bosses, that'd be tougher. But, that's the end of that. I'm gonna go ahead and use a heal because my life is getting pretty low. Even though you can't see my life bar. Because this isn't the Super Nintendo one, but you can. Apparently there's no food items here, so you do have to rely on the heal. Another thing is that enemy like normal enemies like this wall do give you one point. Enemies that would give you like two like enemies that would give you an ability give you two points. And finally, like big enemies give you three. And bosses and bosses give you five and mini bosses give you I believe 5. Oh no, bosses give you 10 and mini bosses give you 5. So uh, I, I think that's how it works, I can't remember. Anyway, enough explaining because I pretty much explained everything I have to. Again, there's just Kirby with the Meta Knight stages. The reason I decided to continue this is because I decided to continue this before. See, that one gave me 3. I decided to continue this before uh, continuing Mega Man because seriously, that game is just kicking my ass. Like, I, I already explained that in the last episode though, so yeah. So don't expect any Mega Man videos for a while, because Whitey's Castle is like harder than I thought. Which is the reason why I post commentate the game. I'm gonna take this path just for the sake of one up. As wow, all the food is gone. This place never looks so empty. Anyway, I don't think I've ever beat Krako with a sword, so we'll see how this goes. Actually no, I have with helper to hero, but that's different, because right there you're a helper, right here you're Meta Knight. And one more hit. Oh, not that hit. There you go. That, that should be the end of it. Then after this, you fight King Diddy. Yep. 
and the recording fairly at like five minutes. Oh, there's also a timer in the bottom screen, so you actually like are being timed. Uh, so yeah, the, the timer in the bottom screen says it's fairly been four minutes, but the recording's at like five. Well, and one more hit. Oh, and I think I do restore health between uh, each of these. Oh yeah, little cutscenes like reflect what Kirby does. Sorry about that. Anyway, th this pretty much tells you like, you know, oh, so there are actually five levels. Wait, but there was no helper. Hold on, Spring Breeze? Uh, what is it? Uh, Dino Blade? Great Cave Offensive? What's the fifth one? No, I mean, I know the last one is Milky Way Wishes, because that's where you fight the final boss. But what comes be whatever, whatever, just moving on. Anyway, this is a little save point. Funny, this reminds me of Super Smash Brothers so much. Anyway, the recording is only up to six minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on with uh, Dino Blade. The reason I'm not skipping the cutscenes this time is because uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, look at, I, I don't know. I'm assuming like I'm assuming the story behind this because there's no story, which is loyal to the Super Nintendo ones. Well, okay, there kind of is a story, but like they don't like they don't need to tell you. Anyway, I'm assuming the story here is Meta Knight wants to train and get stronger. That's pretty much it. Even though like you don't really feel you get stronger because you start out with all your abilities. As, so it's not like let's say Mega Man X where like you do get stronger. You collect abilities and like you know you get progressively stronger. Your life bar goes up. Now in this game, what you start is with, you, you finish off with what you start. So I'm assuming the lesson here is Meta Knight's already as strong as he can get. I don't know. Oh yeah, also the sword can actually reach that. But, like it, it doesn't seem like it will, but it does. Anyway, like I think this is where you start seeing differences between the Kirby stage and like the Meta Knight stage. Because like there are some areas that will be cut off. Apparently maximum tomatoes turn into regular food items, so I guess you don't have to rely on the heal, like if you take damage not enough times. Wait, what about the didn't invincibility candy also turn into a regular food? Yeah it did. Turn into a cherry in this case. Anyway, uh, I don't think I've ever taken the upper path, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it. I think in the LP I took the lower path. So just for the sake of showing off what's here. Wow, this is actually faster. So speedrunners out there, I would recommend the upper path. Because that was, that was infinitely faster than, than uh, the lower path. But then again, the lower path does have food and it has all these little bonuses and all that good stuff. So yeah, there's that too. I don't know why I bothered getting everything. Stage 2, recording up to 8 minutes. Oh, and I think uh, that, that that one thing that you fight it that's optional in Dino Blade, I think you have to fight it here. Oh, good to know that area is still there. Wait, is this... Oh, cool, it's still here and you can still reach it. Just that the switch isn't there anymore. So. Not that it matters because Meta Knight can't use abilities. That's Kirby's thing. Anyway, uh, well, today, 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 I didn't really do much today. Then again, I'm not usually the type of guy that likes talking about, like, little ways. Right now, I'm recording, like, a different setup than I'm used to. Because I'm used to recording in my room sitting down in the chair. And, like, just, just, because, uh, I have a desk, but the way my room is set up, uh, damn it, stop hitting me. The way my room is set up, uh, uh I didn't put this. My room is set, like, I, my room is set up so that uh, my the desk is not anywhere near the Ethernet connection. Like the Ethernet connection is like far away from the desk. That, it's actually right next to like where the feet of my bed are. So what I usually do is set up the chair like near the foot of my bed and have my laptop there and like have it connected to the Ethernet. I know I could always just get a longer cable, but uh, whatever. I'm happy with what I have. Like, I don't, like who, who needs a longer cable? Like my cable is only three feet long and that's pretty much all I need. So well, right now what I'm doing is I'm actually sitting in my living room, like watching King of the Hill in the background. I don't know if you can hear it, I, I turned the volume like pretty low. So yeah, uh, it's weird, I'm not used to this because I'm not used to not having internet. 
And that's what makes this kind of weird, because I don't have- There's a human in right here. My apartment doesn't have Wi-Fi, it's only Ethernet connection. So that's what makes it, you know, kind of strange. Oh, also the down throws acts as a hammer. And apparently you have some sort of fire sword, because anything that would be activated by fire, like those uh, cannons, instead they're activated by, uh... Instead they're activated by your sword, like just the regular sword chain will do it. I guess they give that to you because like there are parts where you have to, like where you have to have fire or you have to have hammer, and like they have to give mana knight some sort of substitute. So they give me that down thrust as hammer and I guess a fire sword. Actually, I don't know if mana knight sword is actually like originally a fire sword. I have to look that up. Sorry, I didn't want to get hit by the spike thing. And, well, if it's not originally a spike sword, it's a spike sword here. So now you know. Let's see... There's not really much else to talk about. I mean, you've seen these stages before. It's just, they're just being down with Mennonite. Right? The only real surprise comes at the end. So, again, it's not really... And it, and for those of you who have the Super Nintendo version and not the DS remake, if you want to try this out, just basically go through every stage with Sword, and that's about it. Yeah, it just gets it just go through every stage with sword, and that's what this feels like. The only difference is that you have that down thrust, and you fly like you like if you had a wing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Although to get the more authentic feel, you might want to be playing as a helper because this guy has like the jumping height and the uh, what is it like the the physics of helper? Because Kirby controls kind of like his controls are kind of like fluid. But, but helpers, like, they run faster and they jump higher, but they also take more damage. And then again, Mennonite Knight doesn't take more damage, he has, like, the damage of Kirby. So I guess you could say he's the best of both worlds. He, he has, like, the sturdiness of Kirby and, like, the speed and agility of the helper. Oh, funny thing, the Warp Star is actually just him flying around like that. I find that hilarious. Anyway, the recording is up to 12 minutes, and according to the game, we've been playing for 5. Oh yeah, it doesn't count the 4 from like the other game, so I guess in total it would be 9, because it took me about 4 minutes to beat the first one. And there's the end of that. I probably should have used the heal, because oh, oh, it kind of caps, or well, it doesn't kind of cap, it actually does cap. It caps at 50 points, so that's a total of like 5 heals at a time, or like, well, 1 crash was like 20 points left over, because uh, the crash was like 30. But it's actually called Mock Tornado, I just call it Crash. Oh, apparently the sword acts as a hammer for it too. It's not even like a... What's it called? Like, it's not even like you have to pound down just on Mac, it does it. That's good to know. Anyway, the sword can go through this. Oh, also when you're underwater, like Kirby usually does a spin attack with the sword. So I guess that's another difference. And also flying is get just like the helper fly, like after six taps flying. Oh, there's what I mean by the fire sword. You see, like that was that was it. Come on! Oh, I didn't make it in time. Damn it. Uh, whatever. There's just one ups and stuff in there. I, I have 16 one ups. I don't think I need any more. Oh, this door's still here. Nice. Well, since Tag can't steal my ability, I'm gonna go ahead and go through this without hitting those. I've never actually done that before. I always like go through this with hating those. It's actually my first time not doing that. And yet the lava still gets to me somehow. Why am I getting all these one ups even though I don't think I'm gonna die anytime soon? I don't know. I just do. Anyway, recording's up to like, what, 14 minutes? Oh, and then I have to take on this mini boss gauntlet. Blah. Oh, and then I have to fight Dino Blade. Well, after that, I'll call it a video because the video's getting pretty long. It's already like 15 minutes. Ah. I don't know if I want to record the rest because, like, if you save and quit, you lose your points. So I, I start at zero, and that's a minor inconvenience. Or if I were to save and, or like, if I were to just keep on playing, I would still have my 50. I mean, it's only a minor inconvenience. It doesn't really like do much, but still, just eh, it's not really losing points like that. It's not really worth it. So I think I might just do this whole thing in one sitting. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Uh-oh, come on, get away from me. There you go, thank you. 
Yeah, I might just give this someone sitting so I can level, so I can have like 50 points starting out. I mean, not that I need them. Oh, I forgot this was up. Yeah, this is what I mentioned, like this one optional thing, like you have to fight it here. So yeah. Oh wow, that was more powerful than I thought. Anyway... No Dynablade... Shit, I can't remember how much Revenge of the King took me. I don't know, it took me like 15 minutes. Anyway, these abilities turn to food. That's pretty awesome. It's like the most useful thing. I mean, I was about to use a heal, but I decided not to. And you know what, for the sake of this, I'm gonna go ahead and use Mock Tornado. Just for the sake of, you know, showing you how it looks like and everything. I feel so mellow right now. See, that was just like a crash. It took it down to like minimal health. I feel so mellow right now. Maybe it's because I'm tired and it's like late at night. Oh yeah, and the cutscene is kind of different too. It's like those birds that Kirby taught how to fly and then it just passes through. It's hilarious. And then Meta Knight's just standing there. As he stood there, watching the birds fly away. He suddenly realized that this is both resembles Birdemic and John Trump's Birdemic review video. Wait, was that? No, it was a Banjo Kazooie. I mean, nuts and bolts video. The ending to that. Anyway, with that being said, save, save. Yes, I will. I guess I'll call this a video, and we'll see what happens next. So, bye, everyone, and take care. Have a good day.